I think there's two things we would all hope for. One is a good meeting between President Trump and President Xi that both China and the US um, put their negotiations on, on a positive track, that they're talking to each other, um, and so that we can see a path to resolution. And I think the second thing we'll all be looking to see is a commitment from the G20 to supporting the multilateral rules-based trading system. Because as, as important as the US and China are, there's a lot of other countries in the world. Um, and and those other countries, the interests of those other countries are supported by international rules. Well, look, China is the world's second largest economy. It is the world's biggest trading nation. So China is a world economic leader. That's simply a fact. Um, so I expect big things from China. Um, and I think it's in a unique position to, to really take the, 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 the multilateral rules-based trading system forward at a time when it's coming under pressure. Starting from the 2016 January Davos speech of Xi Jinping, China is already seen as taking the leadership role in giving a direction to how globalization will be maintained and sustained and taken forward. And I think BRICS therefore would not only be limiting its discussions to what is intra-BRICS issues, which of course will be discussed, but how BRICS nations together can contribute to the G20 meetings building certain amount of consensus to ensure that uh, the protectionism of United States does not uh, really uh, uh, damage uh, international growth rates.